Julius Jones and Powell Valley High School for Tim Hasselbeck in, uh, well, actually from Xavier and Xavier and Brothers in Norfolk, Massachusetts. His high school will receive one thousand dollars. On third down, that's it. And Green has the first down, and now it's only a matter of kneeling down for Boston College. And Tom O'Brien will go home with perhaps his biggest win. Now there's that, 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 that sign up that was all over the Boston College locker room this week uh, in remembrance of the heartbreaking loss the Eagles had a year ago. The other side of the story is that Notre Dame will not go bowling. Uh, the best they could look for is a 6-6 six -six season as they go against the Stanford team with that high-powered pass offense out in Palo Alto next weekend. Well, the only thing that would make this better for Boston College is if they find out that Todd McNiff is in great health. Amen. And uh, Boston College will what? take the delay of game as the clock down to 116 as they're going to milk every second. Well, they could have just knelt. I'm not sure why they took the penalty. They still can kneel a couple of times to get it over with. 12th man, yeah. That's a... Well, he yes. must have read that schedule. He said, you know, November 20th is when it all wrapped up. Final home game. Who knows what might be uh, hidden in that uh, turf. You can't hide much more camera than can. Uh-oh. There's some big offensive linemen. You don't want to go over there. Yeah. Fifth ball, delay of game, offense. Five yards, remains first down. He's got good outside speed. <laughs> He's tired. I'll get him in shape. Where's that tree when you need it? When they play Stanford next week. Well, I, I'm, I'm really <laughs> proud of you. You didn't use one nut joke. <laughs> well, it's too obvious. <laughs> mm. At the 10. <laughs> At the 5. <laughs> First and goal at the two. Nose to the goal line. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, this is your favorite play of the quarterback. Hesselbeck with one kneel down to bring up second down. Tom O'Brien must be wondering what's all the noise about. Here's a coach about to enjoy one of his biggest, if not his biggest win as a head coach. 20-some uh, years uh, understudy to George Wells is uh, his assistant at Navy and at the University of Virginia and gives him great credit. And he said, you know, came right down to the basics. The first rule when I got to Boston College was they didn't know how to practice. Yep. And I had to start with uh, practice and the, that old adage, you know, practice as you play. Mm -hmm. And that's his theory. And it was as simple as that in trying to rebuild this program. Well, he felt that, uh, you know, they could really become a dominant force in the Big East. Every other conference seemed to have a dominant team or two. He said, hey, we can become that dominant team in the Big East. And as a coach at Virginia, playing Virginia Tech every year, it won't be a new experience for him going uh, down to Blacksburg. 20 seconds. Look at these uh, Boston yeah, College right. kids. How big is this for them? Look at them. <laughs> Doing somersaults on the <laughs> sidelines. So that school better get out of there. Boston College, 10-point underdogs, have won it, 31-29. Tim Hasselbeck leading the Eagles to victory here against Notre Dame, and he's with Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Dick. Tim, congratulations. Thank you. you guys built up that big lead. Tell us about your two big passes to Burke. Uh, he just did a great job of winning on the line. He was getting pressed, and uh, we wow. got open and made a great play. And uh, Great catch, wasn't it? It was a great catch, great route, and, uh, you know, people didn't believe in us, but now we're eight two, and people might start believing in us now. How nervous were you as Notre Dame came roaring back here and cut to within two? I mean, we've been in that position before where people have been coming back on us. We just knew we had to stick together. Our defense would come up with a big play. Pedro Serrano has been a great player at BC for four years. Came up with a huge play at the end of the game. How about Virginia Tech now, the number two team in the country? That's right, the number two team in the country. They might be the number one team in the country. So, uh, you know, we obviously know we have our work cut out for us for the short week, and uh, 
Just gonna go down there and give it our best shot. Go find your dad, he's pretty nervous. It's hard for him to watch it. Congratulations to you, Tim. Upstairs to you, Dick. Okay, Jim. Quite a day for the Eagles of Boston College. They've been pointing for this game for a year, and they're bringing home a precious victory. More from Notre Dame, but what a day. College football to bring you up to date. To New York we go, and Hannah Storm.